All right, I think it's time that I finally reveal my weapon XP grinding methods. If you've been around this channel for a bit, you may know that I've gotten every single weapon in the game, Dark Aether and Dark Matter on my main account. And currently we're working on getting Dark Aether again on a second account. But to be able to do that, you have to level all these weapons up. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. Now, basically the shorthand of it is I play Outbreak, the three round version of it. And I go to events that spawn in zombies like the Black Chest event, the Dragon event, and Orda. The two main ones you wanna look out for are the Black Chest and Orda. Because in the Black Chest and Orda event, you can kill those zombies back to back to back without it actually ending the event. But if you're like me and don't wanna level these weapons up in multiplayer, Outbreak is gonna be your best option because round base gives little to no weapon XP after a certain point. And of course, there's going to be other things to help boost the amount of XP that you get, such as double weapon XP tokens. And PlayStation players do get extra bonuses when playing with other PlayStation players. So that's something to look out for as well. But that's basically the shorthand of my weapon XP grinding methods. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do it. That's basically the shorthand of my weapon XP grinding methods. But now I'm going to show you how exactly it's done and give you a little evidence evidence that it works. So I need to get the marshals leveled up. I have them level one here. As you can see, I didn't unlock them. I, I, I bought the bundle. I wasn't about to go and do the challenge but they're level one. I have zero kills with them at all in zombies, and we're going to be getting them all the way up to level 30 just by playing Outbreak. Now, what I normally use in Outbreak is Tesla Storm. I think Tesla Storm is probably the best field upgrade option for Outbreak, especially for playing solo. The reason I choose Tesla Storm over things like Ring of Fire is because you're not very stationary in Outbreak like you would be in Round Base. Because in Round Base, usually the strat is find a nice spot where zombies can only come from a few angles, pop the Ring of Fire, and let it boost your damage and you know, not take ammo from your magazine, but from your ammo pool. But in Outbreak, you, there's not really a whole lot of situations where you're sitting there with only like one angle zombies can come at. So Tesla Storm is better for that because it can stun zombies. It can do damage to zombies and you get points each time they get stunned. And Frenzy Guard basically works about the same as Tesla Storm, but it slows zombies down and its recharge time is extremely slow. So that's why I choose Tesla Storm over it. Aether Shroud can be good as well, but you don't really get any benefits from that besides staying alive longer. Whereas Tesla Storm helps you stay alive longer. It stuns zombies and gives you points for doing so. But right now we do have double weapon XP active. If there isn't any double weapon XP going on, if there isn't any event, uh, you can use double weapon XP tokens. Uh, they obviously do not stack during double weapon XP events. So, you know, use that at your own risk. But also we are playing on PlayStation. So you do get that added bonus whenever playing with somebody that also has PlayStation. Now I'm going to do this with the assumption that you're not going to be playing with people, that you're not going to be inviting people, but using online here to go to outbreak and go to three region is the way that I normally get it done. You can do endless, but for me, it feels like three region helps me gauge more of how much I need to do. Sometimes it only takes two games of three region outbreak to get something fully leveled up. Sometimes it only takes one. It just depends on how efficient you're being. But if you have no one to play with, just queuing three region here, we'll go ahead and find some people. If you're on PlayStation, hopefully it adds another PlayStation person in to get that bonus XP. But if you're on any other platform like PC or Xbox, it still should help you out a little bit. All right, here we go. Hopping into our first Outbreak game. The first thing I always do is check the map. Uh, we're going to give it a second and wait for the events to load in. So there we go. We do have a Black Chest event. We do have an Eliminate event, which doesn't help out too much. But it'll still spawn in some zombies. And then the Golden Chest event will also spawn some in. But I will warn you, the Black Chest event, what you want to do is only shoot one of the orbs at a time. Uh, if you've never done the Black Chest event, there's a orbs that fall around and every time they pass by you zombies will spawn in off of them and they will also hit you every single time they fly by or a single player every time they go by and it does about like 33 percent of your health i'm pretty sure something close to that all right and it looks like our teammate started here this is the orb i'm talking about you see it just did a nice percentage of his health there not a single zombie hit him but it will fly by and spawn zombies in now normally i like to get at least a little bit set up here but uh you know playing online with people you don't really have that luxury so you can do this solo. I'm just playing online for that little chance of having a little bonus XP. And there we go. We get our first weapon level already. But I usually like to get at least like a perk or pack a punch or something like that. Because these things desperately need it. They are not very good. But if I can get the marshals all the way up doing this, I think that that more than proves that this method is viable. Even if it is extremely slow with these pistols. All right, let's get our boy up. But usually from a black chest event, you can see all the orbs from where you activate it. 
like there's one on the roof over here. Uh, there's one over here that this guy just started attacking, which is what you don't want to do. If you have two orbs coming at you and you're low health, it just takes two of them to knock you out from one hit. I mean, you'll get more zombie spawns. So if you're confident in your ability to only get hit by the orbs, then go for it. But you know, things can happen. Zombies can just spawn up behind you. You won't see them. So I like to play it safe and just keep one at a time. That way you can also track which orb is done spawning zombies because after a while it will stop spawning them but it does take a uh, like quite a bit so and then after that orb stops spawning zombies and you break it you move on to the next one but we're we're putting in double time here also this is where it's it's best to play with a full group because you can kind of coordinate like hey this orb is still spawning in zombies let's keep this orb up where as in online people just you know go to the two to their own horn or whatever the thing is and they already finished the event which is not good for us so that's the downside to it. If you want to play online as like a PlayStation account holder and get a little bonus XP, there is the, the con of somebody could just pop on in and take either all your kills or end the event a little prematurely. But up next, we can go over to the eliminate event and try to get that one done. Also, a thing to look out for as well, besides events, is when you go to Xville, so many zombies spawn. A lot of people try to just rush to the exfil site and then just clear it out and leave. But if you stay out of that area, you can get so many kills there. If you're, if you're not too concerned about exfilling, you can get so much done in terms of weapon levels. But we got our first camo with this. Not too bad. We have 1,800 elites coming at us though, which is very bad. So I got to try to stay alive here. Actually, I'm going to rush them because I can use Tesla Storm. Ooh, random perk. We got a little, what is this? Death Perception. Not bad. And we leveled up. We're already five levels in and not too far into this game. But it does look like our teammates are kind of trying to speed run through these events, which is not good for us leveling these weapons up. But at least they're doing the events. Sometimes you get in games where people just want to do the main event and leave. Also, while you're doing this, obviously try to go for more crits. I think you get more XP for critical kill and it'll help you get your challenges done a lot easier if you're going for camos on the weapons. So just a little heads up there. All right, let's grab Pack-A-Punch so we can do at least some damage with these things. Now let's start making our way over to this golden chest event. And also a good tip, shout out to Croxel for this one. If you take a jump pad, it costs you 500 essence. But while you're up there, these huge, what do you call them? Tubes of essence will give you just the 500 back. And if you can run into more than one of them, like there's two here that I'm going to miss, uh, you will be able to make more than your money's back. So it's a good way to just get started in Outbreak if you're new to it, if you don't play it too much, if you're just going to be playing it to grind XP. It works pretty well for getting your money up. And somebody started the main event while we're doing this, so that's fun. Hopefully they can hold it down and the game doesn't end, but we are already level six, almost out of our first wave of Outbreak. We could be a little higher had the black chest event not ended prematurely but this is probably going to be the most realistic way or most realistic way to show how these outbreak games are going to go if you're playing with randoms online also main events for outbreak regions can help you get a lot of kills too escort events are pretty good for it honestly it doesn't spawn in as many zombies as you'd think but as long as you don't stand near it and progress it zombies will still spawn to try to come and take out your rover but mainly i just let this one go like I, I just follow it and kill the zombies that show up for it because just letting it sit there not too much spawns i think it's a set number per little portal that shows up i'm trying to run ahead of the pack here because these guys definitely outrange me with their weapons so i'm just trying to actually get a few kills in here without them trying to take it away from me and it looks like they're trying to figure out my strats and do it for themselves yeah they're way up there just taking all the kills now these are the absolute worst teammates that you want to get for this oh we're still leveling up though now we got the final push there's always going to be some sort of elite that spawns but it looks like they literally just took them all out yeah this one's going to be a little rough but we almost made it 10 whole levels in one region on secondaries you can get it all done in three regions for most uh ars you do have more range and you will be able to take out a lot more zombies and i think it might just take two games of playing this and you could get it done within you know region one or region two of the second game that you play all right, we're definitely gonna need elemental pop. I'll take that. And we're probably gonna throw an ammo mod on this as well. Let's just get, let's get Shatter Blast and see if we can upgrade anything at the armor stand. We can get it to green. That'll help out our damage. And that's about it. So I'm ready to go. All right, region two, what do we have? We have Orda, who is extremely close. So that's good. As long as our teammates don't take them out so early. And we also have a black chest event. That's very lucky to get two back to back. But here, Orda is gonna send out his little dogs first. Looks like our teammates are already chunking away at his health. So we're not gonna be able to show this one off too much. That 
definitely gonna play a solo one after this if we don't end up getting our weapon fully leveled up but you'll see orda will do these little p streams that spawn in zombies and if you keep him alive he'll just constantly send zombies out which is very very good for leveling up weapons but when you do kill orda all the zombies will disappear just a little fyi at least all the zombies that he'd spawn in we're at level eight now Orda's about to die so i'm trying to get as many kills as i can here you could just please leave order alone for a little bit that'd be cool i just want some kills and it's over yeah this one's this is gonna be rough i think i might try to rush over to the event before they get there it's a race against time for me i'm actually gonna grab the car and try to go i just want to get a little bit of xp and these guys are gremlins sorry zombie can't stay in my car i'm out of here all right we've made it to the black chest event uh probably only a few seconds before our teammates get here so let's try to at least start getting some kills so i'm gonna go for this one on the right there we go we've activated it we've pissed it off now let's try to get some kills out of it i just want a little bit of kills teammates please all right we're at level 10 we're a third of the way there and we've been playing for about 20 minutes oh we're already leveled up again this is what i'm talking about with the black chest event we already leveled up twice within like not even two minutes so it's extremely good for leveling up weapons as long as your teammates uh kind of leave it alone Ooh, 12 health this is what i'm talking about with the health thing because i got hit one time by a mangler there and then the orb came through and smacked me like you gotta only be getting hit by the orb over here and we're level 12 we already gone off two levels just off this one orb so imagine doing this for all three orbs you don't have teammates shooting shooting at him and just using each orb to spawn in as many zombies as possible for it and also whenever your teammates are doing events like if they go off and do the main event just make sure that you have the weapon you want to be leveled up out and in front of you because the xp you get from completing the event does go towards your weapon xp so it is very very nice and help you level up a little bit more but here they can focus on the main guy i'm going for all of the zombies that are just running around we also do have a park machine here and i'm getting dead shot oh wait let's kill this mimic first we're a mimic let's go to sleep and let's get dead shot to make our hit fire spread better and speed cola so we can reload a little faster oh 14 now we're getting about seven levels per outbreak region and that's without optimizing what we're doing this is just going with the flow with some randoms now if you're optimizing it you can probably get you know 10 to 13 levels per region maybe even more if you're getting like a majority of the kills so this is not bad at all we're making good pace all right and now we're at the crystal event this event also spawns in zombies but it's not the greatest for grinding because it is at a very extreme time limit of like i think only like a minute and a half or something it's something extremely short so you're not gonna have a whole lot of time to be focused on killing zombies you're mainly gonna be looking for the crystals so you can do this to get a quick little upgrade on your gun or you can kill the zombies either one's fine but this one you know not too crazy to go for sometimes i'll just outright skip it if i'm trying to grind weapon levels Ooh, we got a lot of zombies up here though let's just get a few kills maybe the other guys can take out the rest uh didn't look like we got it see even when we stopped to kill just a few zombies we lost it and now this guy's pissed oh you didn't get my weapon upgrade i didn't get it yeah well i didn't get my weapon levels so lick balls let's taunt him where's my taunt I have a feeling if I go down, he's not gonna like, come and revive me. This guy's like a little angry elf. So I will be getting quick revive for that exact reason. All right, it looks like we got another black chest event, which is very, very good. We got one on all three regions. If we were being optimal with it, we definitely would have this thing pretty close to max level, if not max level. But we got some demons in the lobby. I'm gonna go try to do it right away though. Let's start it up. And I don't have any long range weapons, so I'm gonna try to nade this. <laughs> I got it, perfect. And we brain run of the mangler. That works too. This is perfect. None of our teammates are around. We can just get all the levels we want. I'm loving this. There we go. Level 16. We got teammates showing up now though. Uh-oh. We might go down. No, we won't. Too much of a demon. Was that max ammo? I'll take that. We already leveled up again. Uh-oh. 33 health. Stay alive. Uh-oh. Looks like our boy T-Rex is down. That's a shame, little bitch. Ooh. We got a little mule kick. We also have an insta-kill going. So that's going to help us out a little bit. Level 19 now. And we still haven't destroyed the first orb. We're doing very, very well. Is it spawning any more zombies? Yep, let's go. This is what I'm talking about. Now that me and this guy aren't shooting the orb at all, we're getting a lot of zombie spawns off of one orb. And then you can do this three times and just sit here and farm XP. I'll, I'll get you up in a second, pal. Uh-oh, hopefully. Oh, he got himself back up. Let's go. A champion. Our boy T-Rex is here now. Come to uh, ruin the whole thing. Yeah, now he's trying to shoot at it. I'm not helping him at all you can use all of his ammo on that thing i'm killing all the zombies baby there we go already level 20 oh we have a megaton down here how much xp are you gonna give me there we go level 21 and i think that orb might be full out it's fresh out of zombie kills and it might just be gone 
in general. So I'm throwing a nade at this one. There we go. Get the spawns going again. Oh, why would you grab the new number one rule of zombies? Never grab it unless you need it. 69 reserve ammo. Sex. And we're already level 22. We still might be able to get the max level here, even while having some delinquents on our team. Mimic, let go of me. This guy's literally sitting over here trying to take all the spawns from us. Oh no, you finished the thing, I think. Ooh, level 23. Very low health though. Okay. I don't think he finished it. He just finished one of them. This guy sees us over here just training zombies, having fun. And he's like, nope. I'm taking it all. I'm taking it all out. Oh no, I'm out of ammo. Is there ammo on the ground? There is. No! Just snag most of it, I think. Oh no, I got some. We're chilling. So many zombies are spawning now. I feel like they're just now realizing what I've been doing the whole time. Like, oh shit, this guy's getting levels. Come on, let it spawn in some zombies one more time. Don't take it out. There we go. No! All right, well, these things do spawn a chalice here, and they can pack a puncher weapon, but if you already have pack one, a bronze chalice only gets at the pack one, so it won't do anything for you. Uh, silver chalice gets a pack two. Gold chalice gets a pack three, just for those of you that are curious. But you won't start seeing those until the later rounds of Outbreak. But if you're playing the three-round Outbreak, you're probably going to see bronze chalices. What's up, Disciple? Sleep. Oh, and double points. Now I'm just going to walk around and kill zombies. Honestly, I should probably head towards that gold chest event before Numnunce goes and takes it. Because I just want a few extra kills, but I think we're chilling. Also, getting camos for it also adds to your XP. We're level 25 now after getting Funkadelic. I think they're already starting the gold chest event. I need to get there. And then that's our only event. Really? What else was there? They must have ran off and did... Oh, they did the eliminate event. That's how we got our mule kick. We got it from our random perk drop. Uh oh, our boy's down. We gotta help him. All right, here we go. It's Tesla Storm. Get the free revive in. Let's get the hell out of this building. Never go into buildings in Outbreak. None of them are safe. Oh, level 26. We're almost there. Even after this clusterfuck of a game, we're almost fully leveled. Um, I broke the golden rule. I just killed all the zombies that were spawning from it. That's a big oops. Look at them all sitting here waiting by the chest for that last zombie to die. So they can open it. They're all waiting. There you go. Go crazy. I'm going to go run and get pack two. That's definitely going to help me out. Take the zip line. What's up, zombies? Sleep. Give me that XP. All right. They're doing a transport event. I'll meet them at the harvester. There's pack two. Grab a little essence as well. Let's see if this guy wants to throw the whole game or if he's actually going to do it. It looks like they're just parked. Okay, there we go. They're starting to move. What is he doing? This is the worst driver. <laughs> T-Rex just gets pissed and starts shooting at whoever's not doing exactly what he wants. And right, where are they all coming from? I want to get ahead of the game and get these kills. This is the most toxic game of just online zombies I've played. And I, there's not even any voice chat I'm listening to. He's just in there honking the horn just to piss this guy off. That's funny. He's just going to sit there and spray at him. Toxic. He does not stop shooting at him. Level 27. We can almost get it. I just got to make sure that I take my time on Xfil. These marshals do really fucking suck though. I'll tell you what. No, let me in the car. Thank you. I'm waiting to grab one of these because if I just hang on to it for the remaining time, zombies will keep spawning for me. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Oh no, I fell off. Plus ratio. There we go. Let me grab one, please. I died somehow. Shout out Cookie for reviving me. Okay, he died as well somehow. I have the Ethereum thing on me too. I don't know how I died. Please revive me. Thank you. Oh, I, I forgot I had a quick revive. I could have just been shooting at zombies that whole time. But I got the canister. I'm going to go ahead and wait right by the launch thing till the last second to put it in. T-Rex is about to be pissed. There we go. Degeneration camo. Give me more weapon XP, please. I'm going to wait right here until it's all over. Any more zombies spawning in? All right. It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of zombies spawning. It's not even worth it to hold on to. Is that a weapon level up though? Please level up my weapon. Not looking like it, but we are at level 27. Very close to level 28 here. It's basically fully leveled at this point, even without fully optimizing each event. We still got it all the way up to level 27 using just the marshals in an online game of Outbreak. 27 levels in one game. The, my recording is 55 minutes. We probably introed for about 10 with all my stuttering and cutting that out. So 40 minutes, you can fully level up a secondary and it probably takes about 60 to fully level up a primary. Not bad time, not bad numbers. We did pretty well here today. Now let's see if we can upgrade anything over here. Get to blue, to purple, and repair our armor. I'm ready to exfil. Well, like I said before, a bunch of zombies start spawning in on exfil, like you can see over here. Just don't be in a rush to get to the site. You have a whole two minutes. Get your kills while you can, get your levels while you can. That's why we're here. Honestly, no sweat if you don't exfil. Uh oh, big sweat if you don't have any ammo though. Drop me ammo. Drop me ammo now. Drop it now. I need ammo, please. Go ahead, drop it. 
nothing. Can I kill it with a stun? Oh, there's ammo right here. Perfect. That'll help me a little bit. Level 28. And there's only six hostiles left. It looks like we're not getting out of here at level 30, but we're basically, we're, we're there. We made it to level 28 in some change. Not bad. If we could have sat there and done the black chest events on every single round, we would have had, we would have had level 30 easy. But this is our post-game breakdown. Let me move my camera. I had 471 eliminations, which was the most in the game. 47 crits, not anything great, but do wield marshals. What can you do? Uh, reviving people three times and I went down one time. All those can play into your XP. Well, let's take a look at our post-game report here. Not, more than just our stats, but let's see what kind of XP that we're actually getting. So we went from level one all the way up to our last unlock here was level 26, but we are at level 28. That was just the last attachment that we unlocked, but I am definitely leaving this game. So just so you can see, I wasn't messing around. I only got 381 kills with this thing. A lot of my other kills were from nades or ammo mods, but yeah, 381 kills, almost max level with the marshals in three regions of outbreak. That's not bad, but there you have it. I've exposed my weapon XP method. Uh, it's, I, I mean, I haven't really kept it a secret. I do stream over here on YouTube whenever I go to level up weapons or zombies. So if you want to check those out, make sure you hit the bell to get notified when I go live. But I think that's where we're going to end today's video. So if you guys like this and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please start to subscribe and put out all kinds of content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.